A day after visiting Frank, I get a call from him. Well, it's cracking, cuz. You got a phone quick. Listen, I still need you to set up that meeting for me. He tell me he gonna work on it, but he need me to get him some products so he can get it inside. We getting low out here, cuz. But I should be able to get something for you. But we gotta still figure out a way to get the bag inside, though. He tell me, on another note, I need you to meet with the general manager of my businesses. I'm gonna send you the low. Finally, you heard any word on Lamar? Okay, I got you on that, cuz. I know we gotta keep shit afloat out here with the legal money. He like, nigga, don't skip over that last part. You heard what I said. You better find my brother. Maybe I should have put him in charge. I ain't ignoring nothing, cuz. I got my ears to the street. Soon as I hear something, just know you will. You mad at me like I put you in there. He my cousin too. You don't think I care? Man, who the fuck you talking to? Remember who won this organization, little nigga? I put you on. Listen, cuz, I told you I'm on it. We'll talk later. After that, I had my boy Howe pull up on me to bring me my new whip. It had been on back order for a while, but finally came in. Once it got here, him and Gus hooked me up on the rims. Man, I can't even lie, How This thing nasty, homie. He tell me, yeah, it came out real nice. Then he asked me how Frank's doing. Cuz doing all right, homie. I'm trying to tell him to keep his spirits up. Don't let them break him. But it's hard. He'll be home soon, though. Yeah, that's prison for you, Aunt. But I'm going to get up out of here. Enjoy your ride. Yeah, that thing was dumb, gang. 2023 Ferrari SF90 Stradale on 4 Giottos with the blue hits on the interior. And I dropped like 700K on it. I had to have it. After that, I was off to meet with Franklin Business Manager to see how we could maintain and possibly expand Clinton Enterprises. The meeting was at the Santa Monica Pier. I had never met this person before, so I didn't know what to expect. Frank just said they was gonna be in a black bin. So when I pull up, I see this female standing outside of a black bin on her phone. I'm like, okay, that's gotta be her. Let me get out and introduce myself. She like, you must be Franklin's cousin, Anthony. I've heard a lot about you. My name is Jessica Summers. It's nice to finally make your acquaintance. We have a lot to talk about and not a lot of time because I'm a busy woman. Well, it's nice to meet you too, Jessica. I'm here to help. So whatever you need me to do, just let me know. You can think of me as Franklin when you can't get in touch with him. She tell me, well, everything else is good right now. But before Franklin got locked up, he was thinking about starting a trucking company, and the guy with the truck is getting antsy and wants to sell, so can I take a ride out to see the guy and the truck and tell her what I think? Yeah, I got you. That sounds easy. Just give me the guy's location and tell him I'm on my way right now. I'll call you when I leave there, and if everything looking good, then we can go from there. I could tell Shorty was smart. I would have never thought about starting a trucking company. I see why Frank hired her. That would be a great way to smuggle the work cross country once we got plugged back in with the cartel. I had to drive all the way out to the country to see this truck gang. When I pulled up, it was a dude outside smoking a cigarette. I was guessing that was the owner. I ain't gonna lie. It was a nice semi gang. I was gonna call her Big Blue. What's going on, homie? I take it you the man I need to holler at about this rig. It looked decent enough, so talk to me. How much you trying to get for it? And don't say no crazy numbers for real. He say this butte right here only has 10,000 miles on it. And it's a 2023, so I'd say give me 200,000 for it and it's yours. 
I really don't want to sell it, but I got to pay off my gambling debts. 200000 huh? I can't do that. I'll give you 180 though, and you seem desperate. So I'd take that if I was you. Fine, 180 it is. Just like that, your boy was in the trucking game. Y'all remember Shorty from the last episode, right? Desiree? Well, after making it back from the country, I pulled up on her. We had been kicking it for a few weeks. And even though we ain't know everything about each other yet, I felt a real connection with her. It surprised me she was staying in the hood this whole time. Look at my baby, y'all. Coming out here looking fine as hell. She had been a light through these hard times, so I just wanted to pick her up and show her how much I appreciated her. So the first thing I did was take her downtown to the Beverly Center so she could shop till she dropped. I dropped a light 10 in there on baby. That was nothing to me. Y'all should have seen a smile on her face. Next, I took her to Beverly Hills. I had a real nice surprise for her. I had told her I had to go pick up my new chain from Vangelico's. whole time, I had dropped 30 racks on her a chain so she could match my fly. Later on that night, I took baby to Whiskey at Go-Go's, where I had ordered us a booth and some bottles. We and that thing turned up, y'all, having a good time. I can't even lie, I was falling for baby. I had never felt this way before. About four hours in, and we was both lit up, gang. So at a certain point, we made our way up out the building. Now this was my first time bringing baby to the spot. I ain't letting a lot of people know where I stayed at cause I ain't trust nobody for real. Soon as we got in there, gang, she was all on me. 
So you all know what happened next. He's 22 and can last for hours. She After we got done, right, we just on the couch chilling, watching TV, talking, booed up. You the feel me? Is, we had a few problems with our voting machine. It to the so you never told me what you was going to school to for, babe. And we've Santa. been kicking it for a couple of weeks now. Don't you think that's important? You ain't even asked me what I do for a living. I'm just trying to learn more about you because I really like you and can see you in my future. She like, yeah, you right, babe. We just been having so much fun, it slipped my mind. But I would love to have you in my future, too. And I'm going to school for criminal justice. And I just started working at Bowling Bro. So I tell her, is that right? I got a cousin in there. Maybe you could take him something for me. She tell me, okay, I can, but listen. I could lose my job and get in trouble. Just promise to take care of me if things go south. How you got me feeling right now? I'll do anything for you, man. So a week later, we set the plan in motion, gang. I gave Shorty a half a bird to hide in there for cuz. She like, Clinton, you need to come with me. You have a dentist appointment today. Aunt sent me. It's a brown paper bag in the locker room with what you need. So the nigga came through, huh? Good looking on that thing, little cuz. I tell him, don't even mention it. Now find my brother, nigga. So a day later, I go pick Shorty up from school. She told me her engine had went on on her car, but she had came through for me. I was a step closer to the plug now, so I had a surprise for her. She like, hey babe, thanks for coming to pick me up. Then she get to going in about her car. Don't even worry about it, babe. That type of stuff happens. I told you I was gonna make sure you straight. We'll get you a new car. Now let me take you home. She like, you know what? You right, babe. I'll be all right. Let's go. Baby, I ain't even know what was waiting for her, y'all. When we got close to her crib, I told her, all right, babe, close your eyes. I got a surprise for you. I don't like nobody playing on my phone. I grabbed baby that new G-Wagon on Forgies. I had it, so I ain't even care. She started cheering for me. I did good, huh? She like, eh, I don't know what to say. We've only known each other for like a month, and you continue to spoil me with all these gifts. Let me stop before I cry. I love you, Anthony Clinton. Man, baby, it's nothing. I'm a real nigga having my way. That's what we do. But I got your Malibu fixed, too. Cause you definitely can't drive that thing to your job. She like, I know, babe. I'm just not used to this. I've never had a man like you. Baby, you putting your life and livelihood on the line for me. I'd be a damn fool not to take care of you. You don't even know how much you mean to me, shorty. 
Now go hop in that G-Wagon and tell me what you think about it. She like, oh yeah, they gonna hate me when they see me in these streets. Matter of fact, let me call all my girlfriends and tell them what my man did. My baby was happy as hell, y'all. And I was happy to see it. That's what we was out here getting money for. When I get a call from an unknown number. What's up, little nigga? Man, nigga, what the fuck you want? We got your peoples. We finally figured out we want a million cash. You got two days or he dead. Man, if any of you niggas heard a hair on my cousin head, I'ma rain down death on everybody on that side. Think I'm playing if you want, bitch ass nigga. That was your day one and you do some snake ass shit like this? Boy, I can't wait to catch your ass. Boy, all that day one shit went out the window once Frank got locked up and put you in charge. Now, do you want him or not? Man, that nigga must think we playing, bro. Matter of fact, watch this. I'm finna make this nigga scream. We want our money, little boy. All I could hear was cuz getting beat in the back room, you know? Alright, is that enough convincing little nigga or what? You know what, bro? Maybe we should just kill this nigga right now and save ourselves the trouble. We already bought him. That's just another free million. Time's ticking, and Make a choice now, little nigga. Alright man, listen, chill. I'ma get that money for y'all. Just had a drop for the bread and my cousin location ready. And I pray to God for your sake, my cousin ain't beat too badly. Just get the money and we'll be in touch. For sure, you got it. Babe, I gotta go right now. A family emergency came up. We'll talk later. My good day turned into a nightmare at this point, gang. And I couldn't believe this shit. So two days later, I'm at the crib. I got the money collected. I'm sitting there, impatiently waiting on a response from him. And I got G-Stone and Poppy with me for backup in case shit get crazy. When I finally get a text message at a location to leave the money at. So we all hop in my lounge truck and make our way there. The drop is in a park in the triad territory. After that, I text them, it's here, I wear my cuz. They text me back and say, your boy at the docks waiting for you. After that, it seemed like everything was gonna be all right. The family was gonna be whole again for the most part. Or so I thought. But when we pull up out there to the dock shore, my cousin Lamar out there dead. He had been shot at least 30 times. I couldn't believe this. None of us could. I'm sorry, cuz. I did all I could. But I let you and Frank down. First unk, and now you. But I promise we gonna avenge you, my nigga. I ain't gonna rest till all them niggas dead. They think they can play with us? Call a meeting. 
and get all the troops together. Later that day, a meeting was called. Listen up, niggas. It's time to go through the south side and set that bitch on fire. Greedy, socks, and any nigga we catch out there wearing orange all gotta die. Them niggas killed Lamar. That's my family, but we all a family. So we gotta show them niggas what happened when you play with this family. And I'm counting on each and every one of you niggas and your crews to apply pressure to these niggas. We ball together and we gonna fall together if need be. Now I love Lamar just like everybody do, but it's gonna be hard to convince my niggas to go to war with the work drawing up. Then what we is getting, we getting taxed for. I couldn't believe this nigga, y'all. Now, and maybe if you could drop the price to 32 a joint, I might be able to convince my soldiers to see shit your way. Otherwise, homie, we gonna have to walk. I still got to do what's best for my soldiers. I hope you can understand that, homie. I can't do that right now, homie. Lowest I can go is 36. But it ain't gonna always be like this. Frank about to hook me up with the plug soon. And the price will go back to what it was. But I need you and your soldiers, homie. Don't do your loke like that. This for Mark. Then I guess we walking, eh? Can't make hungry soldiers fight. Come on, y'all. We out of here. I really was in disbelief, y'all. You see how certain niggas turn fake when shit get real. Fuck them niggas. We ain't need them anyways. Now everybody that's still here, I know for a fact y'all love Lamar. So get your crews ready. We riding on them niggas starting the night. We gonna turn that bitch into a ghost town over there. Let's get it. It really was tight, gang. I was down to my last 40 bricks. With hella miles to feed. I ain't know what I was finna do, but some had to shake. It's time to ride, niggas. Let's go show these bitch-ass niggas what happened when you play with family. This for Lamar. Shots letting off and them niggas not running out. I knew they wasn't out there, but they wish was. 
so I got a brilliant idea. coming from everywhere so after doing what we did it was time to retreat them boys kept coming big statement with this I know them niggas was pissed when they seen they cars them niggas done took it too far this time bro we ain't letting this shit slide on my mama we gotta find another way to hurt them just like they bitch ass cuz other than that I want all three of them niggas heads on the plate any idea socks yeah greedy I think I might know of another way just leave it to me, homie. I promise you them bitch ass niggas gonna pay for this shit. This our city. This move I pull gonna hurt they asses way worse than Lamar. And they pulled the unthinkable earlier that next morning, gang. Once G-Stone heard all them shots, Cuz woke up and came outside busting at they ass. Luckily, Cuz wasn't at home when that shit happened. After that, G-Stone texted me about what happened and said, yeah, it's on, cuz. From that point, y'all, we was hitting these niggas broad day, nighttime, it ain't matter, and we ain't care who seen us. They knew they had to be on that same time too. The nigga looked greedy was bold, y'all. This nigga hopped out in the hood in an all orange Nike tech to slide. stop smoking cigarettes but this shit had me so stressed i needed one this war was gonna be tough gang but i was ready for whatever came with it <laughs> 